Hi, I'm Jess Marlin of Marlin Farms and Yellow Rose Fiber Festival, and I'm going to show you how I card my Angora. This is some Angora that's been dyed green, and we're going to turn it into a bat. And we're going to use this Brothers Extra Wide to make an extra wide bat. This is uh, from an Angora goat. They call it mohair once we cut it off. And by putting it into a bat, we make it so that we can spin it. All we need to be able to do is be able to twist it a little bit and you're already on your way to making yarn. This is a, a comb and I'm gonna start burnishing the uh, fiber onto the wheel so that we can get a smoother, more impacted bat. I'm checking uh, to see how much of the fiber I have in the bat. So I noticed that I'm trying to get it close to the top of these uh, needles. So I'm gonna add more fiber. Okay, I'm now ready to remove the bat. So we don't cut, we pull. So we pull it apart. Okay, I'm gonna use the burnish brush now and I'm gonna remove I'm hoping to get is keep it in this nice smooth bat. Though due to its fineness, it does like to come apart a bit. All right. This is a bat. From this point, you can either tear off strips and start spinning or you could wet felt it like it is and make a cloth. You could needle felt it into something. You can um, uh, just do just about anything. Oh, you could weave this into pieces. I also heard people are start using them in macrame uh, to weave them in. Uh, it's finer, so I'm not sure that I would put it so much for heavy use, but it, it is soft enough to go next to skin. I'm going to now take this bat and pull it apart into uh, smaller pieces, and I'm going to spin with it. This will be the one ply of two ply uh, yarn. Here we go, this is what it looks like after it's all been put on the spool. This is one ply. So then all you have to do is from there, we'll put two together and turn it into a two ply. I simply doing them the opposite direction of the way I spun it. <laughs> 